Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Foxtel Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about iron condors. Now this is one of my favorite option strategies to do around earnings. And we've talked about them several times in our top three option plays videos. So this is definitely one to add to your list of trading techniques. And I hear it all the time from newer investors that you know they're kind of intimidated by doing strategies like iron condors, but please, it's very easy to grasp and straightforward. What's good about this strategy Strategy is that it has limited losses with that it's also going to have limited profits too hey we know what we're getting into on both sides so you really can't beat that all right but first if this is your first time watching this video please make sure that you click that thumbs up button it really helps the channel also subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys I want to keep this pretty straightforward in this video we're gonna cover what an iron condor is how you can set them up and the different types of stocks that you're gonna to want to use this strategy on. I'm gonna show you a few examples and then at the last part, I'm gonna actually show you a scanner setup so that you can actually start looking for these plays on your own. Now, the first thing to note is to have access to being able to trade iron condors and strategies like these, you are going to need to be at level three trading with your broker. So if you're not, apply, see if you can get that level three. So the iron condor is an advanced option strategy that uses four different options contracts. And that's gonna be two different puts and two different calls, all with the same expiration date, and then they're each gonna have a different strike price. So four different strike prices. It gets the name Iron Condor from the shape of its profit and loss diagram. So if you look at it, it does kind of look like a big bird, and then it's gonna get the iron in its name because you're buying both calls and puts at the same time. So when you look at this on a chart, you're basically doing two different credit spreads, one call credit spread and one put credit spread. And I have a video with more details about credit spreads if you you know are interested in knowing more about those so I'll go ahead and leave that link below but you're essentially going to sell and buy a call or put at the same time and you're only gonna see losses when the actual stock price starts to move past that option strike price of the contract that you sell back to the condors so this is a fairly neutral strategy that's gonna earn its profits when the stock trades in a narrow to neutral range so you want to stock this kind of not moving past the certain point basically and with this type of strategy you can still make profit when the stock goes up down to the side you know it doesn't matter as long as it doesn't pass the short option and short means that's the option that you sell so when you hear somebody say go long that is when you're buying and when you hear short that means that you sold it so now with this trade being made up of two credit spreads that means that this is gonna be a trade where you're actually receiving a premium to open it and in this strategy the different options that you pick call that you buy and sell the put that you buy and sell so these are gonna be called legs. And with most brokers, you can actually pick and choose which legs you're going to use. So if I wanted to do it here, I could pick something there. And you see how I can just pick my calls here. This is the one I'm gonna sell. And I can choose, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that one. And then you just go to the puts. Uh, this is the one I'm gonna sell. And this is, this is the one I'm gonna buy. So you have more freedom to kind of choose whatever you want with this one. But um, yeah, so that's just kind of an option for that if the stock closes between the strikes of the short call and put by expiration then all of the options are going to expire worthless essentially that's what we want we want them to expire worthless so that we can keep that full credit but you don't have to wait until expiration to close this play you can actually close the position early but you're going to buy back in so you remember we received money to open it so if you want to close it you're gonna to have to buy back in and then you'll just be keeping the difference in the credit received to open the iron condor and then the amount that you actually pay to buy in and close the spread. So let's say, for example, you're trading stock TTT and right now it's trading at $35.50. So we're gonna have our call credit spread to sell the 40 call and we're going to buy the 41 strike price. And then for the put credit spread, we're going to sell the 30 strike price and then buy the 29. And so with both of these, you're gonna have a net credit of $1.20 premium, which is basically $120 for each iron condor contract that you open. So at expiration, if TTT closes in between 30 and 40, then these options are gonna expire worthless and you're gonna keep that full 120. So let's say the stock closes at 35. Hey, <laughs> we got that. 
or you could close the position early buying back in let's say if the premium was 0 0.50 to get back in then you would just pay that 50 you would keep that difference in the credit received the price that you paid to get it out of it so that's still not bad you're still making money with this so these are going to be your profit options for this and you remember we said you're going to have a capped profit and loss with the iron condor strategy and so the most that you can lose with iron condor positions actually it's going to tell you in your app but basically you calculate calculate that by taking the difference in between the long call and the short minus the credit that you receive and you'll lose that maximum amount when the stock price moves above the long call so that's the one that we bought so if the stock moves past that then that's when you're going to see that full loss on either side with the call or puts credit spreads what type of stocks are going to be better for trading iron condors now the easiest thing to do is to trade indexes like s p 500 or dow jones russell 2000 and things like that because these are made up of multiple different stocks and they usually tend to have slower growth over time individual stocks they can be very unpredictable so that's one thing for you to do to trade indexes and ETFs and, and things like that so that'll help you but like we mentioned earlier iron condors are gonna be profitable when a stock moves as little as possible so this is gonna be one of the most important factors when picking stocks for iron condors you're also gonna wanna have stocks with high liquidity. So these are gonna have a smaller bid and ask spread, and that's essentially gonna make it easy for you to enter and exit that trade at better prices. So we actually have a video with more information about the bid and the ask spread, so if you you know wanna know more information on that in detail, I'll have that link below. Two, also look at stocks that have large market caps, like Netflix, Walmart, Disney. You're gonna wanna trade high, valued stocks above $100 because it's not impossible but it's more difficult to trade iron condors and stocks that are cheaper. As far as the Greeks go, essentially we want all of these options to expire worthless or at least lose value. We're going to want options that have a low delta and a low gamma with a higher theta. Now you already know theta is the change in the option value over time. So higher theta basically means that our options will more likely than not expire worthless. And a lower delta is gonna be a good sign. Delta is used as a probability of an option expiring in the money or being profitable. So the lower the delta, the lower the chances of it expiring in the money, the better our chances are with profits in our iron condor. And then lastly, I just wanna show you guys a quick scanner setup to kind of help you find some good iron condor plays. Right now, this is TD Ameritrade's Thinker Swim and you'll just go over here to this scanner and make sure that you're in the spread hacker. So let's just add our first filter. And the first thing that I wanna add is days till expiration. So like we said, we want these options to expire worthless. So you already know that stocks are going to be more susceptible to time decay the closer it is to expiration date. So we wanna have a maximum of 30 days. The next one is Delta. And so remember we said we want a lower Delta so we can do something point, point three oh. that's not too bad. So 30% chance of profit, you can do it lower than that. I mean, it's, it's gonna show you ones that are lower. This is just gonna be the max. The underlying price. So this is gonna be the, the price of the actual stock. So we said we want stocks that are at least $100. So we can put 100 in the minimum and max 500 or something like that. You know, just kinda do something cute. Also up here, make sure our spreads are for only options. And in the search right here, make sure that you have iron condor selected so this is only showing us iron condor plays okay scan and let's see okay wow this is uh oh my gosh yeah this is uh this is kind of a huge amount so um delta these are some pretty low deltas now these are going to be the four that we're going to do so we're going to have our for our call credit spreads we're going to do the 110 and the uh, 111 and then for our puts the 100.5 and the 99 so it gives you all the numbers it gives you everything that you need it gives you the actual stock so so you really would just go through there, check out what the stock is looking like, and you know, just kind of see where you would want to set your position and your limits where you feel like the stock would expire in between these prices. All right, but just putting all of these things together, it's definitely going to help you gain more passive income with trading options. All right, make sure that you guys check out this playlist that we have for actually using Thinkorswim, how to set up your charts, how you can use these scanners to find more options trades, and you know, just on how to use Think or Swim. So make sure you check this playlist out, check out some of these videos, and uh, yeah, that's that.